News in a terrifying ordeal from Bengaluru, a woman who was in her car was relentlessly chased by a gang of hooligans. Three people on two wheelers pursued the woman, harassing her along the way. The gang followed the woman from Madiwala St. John's Hospital to Koramangala. The woman managed to record a video of the harrowing encounter while promptly making a distress call to the authorities. The police swiftly responded to her call for help, but by then the gang had escaped. The recorded video helped police arrest two of the suspects, while the other three still remain at large. All right, update from Kerala now, where uh, in fact Kerala is gradually becoming a hub of human versus wild conflicts. Another death has been reported from Patna Mitha after a wild elephant attacked a 56-year-old auto rickshaw driver. This incident took place near Erumelli, which is situated in the Shabrimala forest boundary area. As per sources, the victim tried to encounter the rogue elephant while it was overturning a coconut tree. In turn, the elephant attacked him, leading to his death. Residents in Patanamitta, meanwhile, staged a protest over this incident. This is the 12th such incident to be reported in Kerala since January this year. Let me go across to my colleague Jay Lakshmi for more details on this. Uh, Jay Lakshmi, what are the authorities saying? This is not the first incident that's happening in the state. And these uh, cases are really rising when it comes to wild elephants uh, and humans being in conflict. You know, certainly this is definitely not the first case. Uh, this is the 12th case after today. This is the 12th case that has been reported from the state of Kerala in the man versus wild conflict. And in fact, this is something that has taken a very serious toll on the residents of the state. Uh, in fact, every time there is an incident, the residents are coming out on roads demanding justice for the civilians who are staying there, you know. And the curfew of the local residents who are living near the uh, forest zone area is as early as 4 p.m. They are definitely, definitely it's difficult for them to go on with their early life. So even though the state government has multiple times promised them that there is going to be a definite solution for this, Till now, the residents are saying that there has been no solution given to them. And in fact, day by day, these cases are increasing. And that is exactly what the BJP also in the, uh, in the state pointed out today. Uh, you know, that if only the, there was a uh, food and water and further provisions inside the forest, the wild animals would not come out of uh, the forest. That is what the opposition is claiming. And in fact, also because of the election season, this is, again, one of the major whole uh, topics that is being discussed by the politicians in the respective constituencies, that how the state government and the opposition Congress, in the, uh, uh, both of them are discussing that how the state government has failed to you know, provide a definite solution for this uh, problem. And day by day, the residents are facing such severe issues yeah. and their lives are being lost.